Hello, this is Abu Zar from Math Concepts channel. In this video, we find the node capacity of a depth in a MRE tree. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual mathematics problems. MRE tree is a hierarchical tree where each node has at most M children. The root node is top node of the M array tree that has no parent. As example, the left hierarchical tree is a two array tree that is also called binary tree. In binary tree, each node has at most two children. The middle hierarchical tree is a three array tree that is also called ternary tree. In ternary tree, each node has at most three children. The right hierarchical tree is a four array tree. In four array tree, each node has at most four children. A depth in a hierarchical tree is a set of nodes that have equal edge distances from root. Each node in depth D has exactly D edge distances from root. As example, root node is at depth 0, as there is no edge between root and itself. Each node at depth 1 has exactly 1 edge distance from root. Each node at depth 2 has exactly 2 edge distances from root. Let us denote n of d as the number of nodes in depth d of the m array tree. We show that node capacity of depth d, or maximum number of nodes that can be placed at depth d of the m array tree, is m to the power of d. In other words, we show that n of d is less than or equal to m to the power of d. Let us consider an example for a ternary tree. In a ternary tree, we have m equals to 3. We show that in a ternary tree, n of d is less than or equal to 3 to the power of d. At depth 0, we have only one node, that is root. Thus, n of 0 equals 1, and 1 equals 3 to the power of 0. Therefore, we have n of 0 equals 3 to the power of 0. In depth 1, we have 3 nodes. Therefore, n of 1 equals 3 and 3 equals 3 to the power of 1. Thus, we have n of 1 equals 3 to the power of 1. In depth 2, we have 5 nodes. And 5 is less than 9. And 9 equals 3 to the power of 2. Thus, n of 2 is less than 3 to the power of 2. In depth 3, we have 8 nodes, and 8 is less than 27, and 27 equals 3 to the power of 3. Thus, we have n of 3 is less than 3 to the power of 3. In depth 4, we have 7 nodes, and 7 is less than 84, and 84 equals 3 to the power of 4. Thus, for all the depth from 0 to 4, in this example, we have the equation n of d is less than or equal to 3 to the power of d. Please pause this video now and take a paper and pen and try to find the maximum node capacity of a depth in a m array tree by yourself. As a hint, use induction on depth of the tree to show that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth D of the M array tree is M to the power of D. We use induction to show that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth D of the M array tree is M to the power of D. In other words, we use induction to show that n of d is less than or equal to m to the power of d. 
we follow the three steps of the induction approach. In the first step, we prove the induction basis. We show that for d equal to 0, n of 0 is less than or equal to m to the power of 0. That is equal to 1. In the second step, we assume the induction assumption. We assume that for depth k minus 1, n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of k minus 1. In the third step, we prove the induction claim. Using the induction assumption and hierarchical structure of the m array tree, we prove that for depth k, n of k is less than or equal to m to the power of k. Let us prove the induction basis. We show that at depth 0, n of 0 is less than or equal to m to the power of 0. There is only one node that is root node at depth 0. Thus, n of 0 equals 1, and 1 equals m to the power of 0. Therefore, we have the equation n of 0 is less than or equal to m to the power of 0. Now we assume the induction assumption. We assume that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth k minus 1 of the m array tree is m to the power of k minus 1. In other words, we assume that n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of k minus 1. Now we prove the induction claim. Using the induction assumption and hierarchical structure of m array tree, we prove that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth k of the m array tree is m to the power of k. In other words, we prove that n of k is less than or equal to m to the power of k. Based on definition of m array tree, we have each node in depth k minus 1 has at most m children in depth k. Thus, n of k is less than or equal to m times n of k minus 1. Using induction assumption, we have n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of k minus 1. Thus, m times n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to m times m to the power of k minus 1. That is equal to m to the power of k. Therefore, n of k is less than or equal to m to the power of k. Now, using induction, we have proved that capacity of depth k in m array 3 is m to the power of k. Now we show how to achieve maximum of node capacity in depth k that is equal to m to the power of k. Maximum depth capacity m to the power of k happens if and only if each node in all upper depths, depth 0 to depth k minus 1, has exactly m children. There is only one node at depth 0, that is root node. Thus, maximum number of nodes at depth 0 equals to 1, that is equal to m to the power of 0. To achieve maximum capacity of depth 1, root node must have exactly m children. In this case, maximum number of nodes at depth 1 equals m times maximum number of nodes at depth 0, that is equal to m times 1, that is equal to m to the power of 1. To achieve maximum capacity of depth 2, each node in depth 1 and depth 0 must have exactly m children. In this case, maximum number of nodes at depth 2 equals m times maximum number of nodes at depth 1, 
that is equal to m times m to the power of 1 that is equal to m to the power of 2. Following this inductive approach, to achieve maximum capacity of nodes in depth k, each node in depth 0 to depth k minus 1 must have exactly m children. In this case, maximum capacity of nodes in depth k equals m times maximum capacity of nodes in depth k minus 1 that is equal to m times m to the power of k minus 1 that is equal to m to the power of k that is the maximum capacity of depth k thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual mathematics problems